What's up, everybody? Let's Talk Jets Radio. Quick update to Tyson's update. Connor Hughes just tweeted out a little while ago that he's being told Mekhi Becton could be out for the entire season. Absolutely devastating news all the way around. Um, and I've obviously got a much different take from Tyson. We're probably going to fight about this tomorrow night. And this is not at all about I told you so's. It's not at all about, you know, being a good Jet fan or a bad Jet fan, always supporting your players. No, like this is about holding players accountable for keeping their bodies in shape and being in football shape. And to say that Mekhi Becton did that this offseason, that he took his rehab process seriously, is being incredibly naive. I'm sorry, if you want to go through the timeline, last year, six to eight weeks, turns into the entire season. So you want to say the Jets may be misdiagnosed, it's fine. You give him an extra six to eight months to get ready, to, to drop his weight, and to get in shape. He can't even do that. He doesn't show up to OTAs. He shows up to mandatory minicamp at 400 pounds, not on the field. So for, for the last 30 days, you try to give him the benefit of the doubt. All right, he, he put all this work in. He's on the field. But if if, if you watched him, all right, and we were, Tyson and I were talking about this the first practice. He was limping. He was on one knee. He looked gassed. He was throwing up. You know, he, he did not look good. He was getting beat on almost every uh, on every play by speed rushers. He did not look good out there. He was barely out there for the green and white. They put him uh, back in a brace a week ago. Sally even said a month ago the knee still wasn't 100%. So, again, the brace comes on a week ago. They say it was just discomfort, so clearly they were trying to downplay it. Becton, you know, clearly with a chip on his shoulder, trying to show that, you know, he could tough it out. He was not ready to play football, and he was trying to make up for it. That, that's the opinion that I draw from this, that he tried to take some shortcuts, tried to drop the weight in 30 days, and think, all right, you know, I'll, I'll be able to do it. You know, it's like cramming for a test the night before. Like, you know, maybe you'll remember some shit, but long term, it's not going to stay there. When you take the big test, the midterm, or the final, you're fucked because you didn't actually learn the information. So, like, for, for Becton, he basically tried to cram what should have been a full six to eight month legitimate rehab process where you're getting stronger, you're getting faster, you're building strength the entire time. It's almost like he tried to cram it all into 30 days and think that he'd be in, 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 in proper playing shape. And clearly he wasn't. And at, at the very worst, he invites to speculation because he couldn't get in the right weight. And you can't tell me that he couldn't have done that. He was able to walk. He's been posting videos for five or six months. He can go, he can walk to the kitchen. He can cook a nutritious meal. He could drink water. Like there, there's no excuse for him being overweight for as long as he was going into July. No excuse for that at all, especially when he missed OTAs. The thought process was he's working his ass off. He's getting in shape. When he shows up to the building, he's going to be in shape. He's going to look ready to go, and he wasn't. They even said his knee still wasn't 100%. So to me, it, it's hard not to speculate that he didn't take this rehab process seriously. You know who I did? Who, who definitely took his process seriously? Carl Lawson. He went about it quietly. You know he's all about football. You see him working his ass off. Like, you don't hear anything from him because you know he's working. He's a guy that if he got hurt, I'd be absolutely devastated. And he wasn't a homegrown pick, and he was somebody that got paid a ton of money. And, you know, let's just say he got hurt and he missed the season, knock on wood. You know, that'd be $30 million down the drain. But you know what? I would feel sorry for the player because I know the game means something to him. H has anybody gotten that impression from Mekhi Becton? When, when we're talking all this shit about culture, changing the culture, guys that want to win that are all about football, that was every single quote from Flight 2022. Guys that live, breathe, eat football. That, that's all they wanted. Do you get that impression from Mekhi Becton this offseason? Clearly there was friction. Clearly they, they, they danced around questions about his weight. Clearly there were issues. He did not set himself up in the best position possible to be ready to play come week one of camp. And this is the result. So sorry if that's too negative, but talk to you later.